Okay, I just wanted to point a couple of things out about this domain registration. So the first thing here is the email address, europeanrevolution at vaultletsoft.com. How interesting. Okay, so let's explore this a little bit as well. Um, the addresses provided are always this. So you see it repeated down here, and you see it repeated up here. Um, the registrant is the person who's being billed. So it was registered um, at this address. Okay, this isn't a personal address. This is a work address, and it's very specific. So uh, just remember that um, anybody who's familiar with uh, uh, online purchasing using a credit card will acknowledge that um, when you fill out uh, a form and you submit your information, there is a cross-reference check uh, between your address on the credit card and the address provided. And the transaction um, gets held if the address is any different than the one that's registered to the credit card with. So we have that, and we have the picture of uh, the uh, GoDaddy results for the who is. Um, I have a, a similar picture as well as uh, uh, I saved um, the source code for the HTML page. Um, I just hit Alt F. Uh, a for save as and then enter saved it to my desktop um, on my old laptop so it's still sitting around on that hard drive but let us have a look at vaultlet soft who are they um, we see here that you can have a hard drive USB drive or whatever uh, hook it up to the computer um, so you could use a thumb drive for example go up to my laptop and uh, plunk the thumb drive in download your emails for uh, this address here, let's say for example European Revolution at vaultletsoft.com and uh, basically what it will allow you to do is you can then take that information and go to uh, another computer that's totally disconnected from the internet um, it's, it's spend your time typing out responses and um, dealing with uh, communications and then you can go to uh, George's laptop let's say just any random person's computer laptop uh, uh, library computer uh, HRDC any of that stuff and you'll be able to send out your email responses so it's a two-way email facil uh, communication facilitation and uh, from vaultlet mail the uh, server that these people have they will uh, send your emails encrypted so that when you're on an, uh, uh, another network they can't even get access to what's inside your email um, so they may know that somebody came along and got some messages from this place but they won't know what's inside of them and if you carefully examine uh, what's uh, what the system does is it uses 256 bit AES encryption which is pretty heavy um, it's uh, it would be much more uh, 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 probable for uh, a child 
to use something, a service, something like uh, Hushmail, for example. Uh, Hushmail would encourage privacy as well using a 256-bit PGP encryption, which isn't as uh, secure as the AES, um, which may have changed. Uh, I've noticed that AES encryption has been getting uh, weaker and weaker and weaker. Um, there's new articles out all the time, but that's just a sidetrack. Um, basically, uh, this is what people would use if they wanted... Uh, encrypted emails and even that would be a little bit a little bit extreme um, generally if you're running a transparent process you'd want uh, a regular mail service which is what something like what you or I would use um, so uh, let's let's have a look a little bit more about this registration here now this is this address here it uh, indicates that the uh, credit card is corporate. It is not a personal credit card. You do not register your personal credit cards to your work address. So, therefore, that is a, a credit card for the United Nations representative of Ecuador, and it's a corporate card. So, uh, uh, what I would like to know is uh, what kind of daughter would go up to mom and go, Hey, mommy, I'm just going to register a domain here. Um, and she's not going to ask what it's for. Oh, it's for the revolution. Um, she's not gonna like notice some of the shadier details, like European Revolution at VaultSoft.com. That sounds like a revolution. Like she's planning on launching a revolution with a domain. Um, also, as a parent, um, personally, I would ask what the kids registering the domain for because you never know what they're gonna do with it. They could be uh, pirating software, and uh, if they get busted, you would be liable for whatever damages are incurred through the use of that domain. So it would be a legal contract between you and the domain provider. Probably not such a good idea to give your kids access. And I would imagine somebody, a one percenter, um, who uh, uh, obviously has wealth, um, why anybody of that caliber would not question or ask questions and get some answers regarding this registration. Okay, because um, I, I can tell you I have like a wealthy mother-in-law and she wouldn't even think of like allowing me to register a domain using her card um, without like uh, disclosure of some sort. So uh, that's shady. I don't know why that pop-up keeps coming, but let me get through this. Um, we have uh, uh, a who is look up currently of the domain which in itself is pretty shady because look it's now domains by proxy and uh, so all that contact information is wiped out now you're asking yourself well what does this prove somebody could have faked those pictures well um, I couldn't fake their own press release so uh, a brief uh, uh, misunderstanding uh, 15 October dot net it, it's a brief press release uh, regarding, uh, let me just try it again, press release okay I'm gonna pull up the name here so a brief press release to solve misunderstandings so I can go back into here and go a brief pre press release to solve misunderstandings. Ah, here we go. So you can see the domain, it's 15october.net. It is from that website. Um, this is a press release from October 18th, 2011. And it says, a brief press release to solve misunderstandings. Um, so you, I, I'll let you read it at your leisure and stuff while I'm talking here, but uh, um, they're trying to refute things because, oh, it's a conspiracy, so therefore it didn't happen. Um, it says, Paulina Arcos, who figures as the owner of the domain, is the name of the mother of this member. So they're admitting to it. They're admitting to it because they're saying, we used her credit card to purchase the domain in July. Oh, okay. And which credit card is that? It's the corporate card for the United Nations representative of Ecuador because otherwise the address would be a personal address. And so uh, we can gather from that information right there 
that not only was she aware that this was going to be the domain for the revolution based on the fact that the uh, email address is in there, but uh, she was probably behind this because um, what's the deal with uh, the encrypted email communications that they they have in there? I mean, we're talking military grade encryption. It's not necessary to go that far unless if you really do have something to hide. Because we can go over to, uh, well, I'm sure I already showed you Vault, but soft. You can go over there anytime, look at their products, and see what they're offering. Um, so here we have all of our connections made. Um, it, it is the United Nations that's pulling the strings here. And uh, uh, it isn't a little 17-year-old kid or 18-year-old. Well, I guess it'd have to be under 18 if they didn't have a credit card. Because, I mean, they would be a silver spoon-fed family, one of the 1%. So uh, anywhere from like 12 to 17, we'll say. So you have a little kid asking for a credit card. Hey, mommy, can I have a credit card? And she just coincidentally sets up the domain that uh, launches all this. Something stinks. Something is totally rotten in Denmark and the rest of the world. And uh, people need to wake up to